From the pike down to two lanes, once peak hours ends, this bottleneck narrows again to one lane in, two lanes out. Off peak hours, hopefully not as bad as this scene during rush hour. Cars bumper to bumper from the Pru and on. Both the evening and the morning commute saw delays, and these are backups that linger. So we can expect that normal congestion you'd run into during rush hour is just going to last a lot longer, and it's going to take a lot longer for the road to recover from it. MassDOT says people took their advice, avoid the highway or taking the T. But even so, this is what traffic looks like with 25% fewer drivers on the pike. And even though there has been that big of a decrease on the turnpike, we are seeing significant delays in certain portions of the pike. Crews are meeting their milestones. Things are on schedule. But remember, this is only the beginning. We are encouraging you to take the commuter rail to avoid the turnpike. We've added uh, additional staff and additional trains to be able to accommodate these new passengers. All right, so buckle up. It'll be like this for two weeks.